Hi everyone, today we will go over the Postman Response Viewer. The Response Viewer helps you make sure that the API responses you're getting are correct. Here, I'm going to make a call to the Wikipedia API for all the articles available on the country of Peru. I hit send. Now here we have a response. A response consists of the body, the headers, and the status code. As you can see, hovering over the status code, I get the details. This time it's a 200 OK, which is a very standard response. Um, but sometimes API creators might have custom definitions. Now we're looking at the response body here. You can scroll to the response as well. Uh, now, if this were part of a collection, if this query was part of a collection, I could have saved the response. So let me quickly add this to a collection. I'm going to choose Wikipedia Articles API, add to collection. Now when I get the response, as you can see here, I can save it. Now you can view a body in three ways. Pretty, which is what I'm viewing right now, which shows you the response in a prettified format where it's easily re readable JSON. Now keep in mind that in today's times, mostly you get a JSON response, but that is not always the case. If you want, you can force JSON by going into settings and here change the language detection to JSON. I'm going to leave it at auto right now. If you want it, you could see the response in XML as well. And sometimes an API will send a response in XML and it'll show up defaulted as that unless you have forced JSON in the settings above. Now, the raw response is the entire body of text that comes back as a response. This is useful to see if the site's code is minified or not. Now, the third type is preview. This is useful when you're calling a web page. So in this case, I called uh, the page for Peru on Wikipedia and I get a response that looks like the web page. This is an in-browser response. JS and images are disabled. If your response is an image, Postman will render it. For binary responses, you should send and download. And when that happens, you can save it and view it in the appropriate viewer, such as for a video file you use uh, VLC or for a flash thing, your flash viewer. Now let's look at headers. The response is in key value pairs. In case of a head request, let's make a head request here. The header view is in the response is the default. Now, the third thing to look at is cookies. You cannot actually look at cookies without the interceptor extension. Postman has released the interceptor extension as an open source on GitHub. It's something you need to install on Chrome. So I'm going to hit install. I go to the Chrome Web Store, hit add to Chrome, add extension. Now it's been added. Now if I wanted to actually get all my browsing activity as a stream in Postman, I would press on and that would start happening, but that's not what I'm going to do right now. Right now, having installed Interceptor, I will just go turn it on here. I send the request again, click cookies, and here I get all the cookie information. So that's the Postman response viewer for you. Hopefully it makes your API consumption super easy. If you have more questions, feel free to look through our documentation for edge cases and you're also welcome to submit GitHub issues if you come up with questions that are not answered in this video or in the documentation. Thank you.